This video is sponsored by Better Homes and Gardens at Walmart. A little storage can go a long way. And today I'm sharing some of my favorite organization essentials from Better Homes and Gardens at Walmart. This was a very affordable update that was really long overdue. So I'm going to show you the accessories and organizers that I used. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what my son's bathroom it's actually the guest bathroom as well, but it's his primary bathroom. What it looks like, you can see I was experimenting with some paint colors that we have already used in other parts of the house. Um, this bathroom doesn't get any natural light, so I just want to lighten them. You can see I still <laughs> I left some Christmas behind there. Um, these are the lights that were put in, They're, you know, the builder grade lights, which I don't mind those so much. I don't use this bathroom very much, so, and he, you know, he's only nine, so it's not really going to bother him. And the rugs, so I try to keep this bathroom uh, very gender neutral because when guests come, this is the bathroom that they use. So while there's nothing wrong with this um, shower curtain, the stripes are a little bit too busy. I think we need some bolder stripes. Uh, I ordered a piece, so this was the over the toilet. Um, it's, it's just really tight in here, so I was trying to make some space by going up. Uh, I don't like the way this looks in here though. I want to put in a piece that actually has a, a cabinet that I can close. Um, and he still has a little trash can in here from when he was little. The builders don't put uh, toilet paper holders on the walls. And so we have this one in here, but I just find that because this space is already so small, it just feels very cluttered. So I'm just going to make a couple of simple changes. We're going to install one here and a towel holder. He has nowhere to hang towels, so he kind of puts some over here. So it's just time to make things just a little bit easier for him. I'm scared to pull this back. <laughs> Okay, it's not so bad. So he doesn't have anywhere to um, hang all of his shower tools either. So I'm just going to help him out a little bit and get this project started. So I'm just going to share with you guys. There's also new art on the walls. So let's, let's just start by taking down Christmas, okay? <laughs> oh, and this is Bluey. This is his fish, beta fish. Bluey joined us last Christmas and he's been around for a, over a year now. Hi, Bluey. One more thing I forgot to show you. This is, <laughs> we really need some help under here. <laughs> there's just, there's no storage going on. So, uh, we are going to fix that. See, this is where he puts his towels. There's got to be a better way. So, I'm going to find it. I started by painting the bathroom. I went with a lighter color, Sherwin-Williams sailcloth. I have it in my office and in both of the girls' rooms. I removed everything from under the sink and gave it a nice wipe down. And then I found these perfectly sized under bed storage units uh, by Better Homes and Gardens. And I got two, they fit just perfectly under the sink. And then I grabbed a couple of wire baskets to help organize things under there. I chose wire just because it would make it a little bit easier for my son, especially to see what he's looking for underneath. So I assigned one to him for all of his things and one for the guests. Right away, you can see what a huge impact it made just to have uh, something to corral all of the items in. So he's got all of his little personal items located in one. There's a basket for extra items and then there's a basket with washcloths and extra toothbrushes and toothpaste. And then the toilet paper is located in the very back. And I have to tell you, I wasn't even halfway through this update yet and I immediately started to feel better when <laughs> everything was just organized. Isn't it amazing how organization can help you feel better? Next, I got rid of this space saver. It's just an eyesore. This room is already small and dark and this just seemed to make it worse. 
There are no windows in this bathroom, so there's no natural light, but I have a solution for that. It was also time to get rid of this old trash can from my son's nursery. And for the bathroom accessories, I grabbed this three-piece towel set. It just has really clean lines. So I added that along with this much-needed shower caddy, which I like because I can adjust the height to make it a little bit longer for my son. I also switched out the shower curtain rod. And like I mentioned earlier, I updated the shower curtain as well. And by the way, when I do these monthly Better Homes and Gardens updates with you, if you like any of the products you see here, they are always linked over on my blog at themillionairehouse.com. And check this out, YouTube friends. Remember how I said there were no windows in this bathroom? Well, I found this beautiful canvas at at-home stores, and now there are tons of beautiful windows in this bathroom. And again, a little bit went a long way with the three-piece hardware set. Not sure what took me so long to just go ahead and get one installed, but I'm glad we finally did. Now there's somewhere for towels to hang. And I hung uh, the ring near the sink for hand towels as well. This bathroom really is hard to film for you because it's just such a tight galley, but hopefully you can see how just a small couple Changes made a really big impact. I added a more modern trash can and even a coordinating toilet bowl holder. And I don't know about you, but I like to put a few extra trash bags down in the bottom of the can before I line it with a trash bag to make it a little more convenient when it's time to change it out. And on his sink, I simply added a couple of marble trays to corral the soap dispensers and his watches. I added some apothecary jars for cotton and soaking salt. And that's really it, you guys. It's such a much nicer feeling to come into this bathroom, both for my son and hopefully for guests when they come too. And I really hope that this video leaves you feeling very inspired to declutter or tackle a small space in your home that may need a little TLC. Thanks so much for sharing this time with me today. Until next time, love and peace.